Black Ops 4 is honestly, I think, a fantastic overall experience, but one of the things that has kind of perplexed me and really surprised me, especially pre-release, is that we saw nothing about supply drops. Nothing at the event that we ended up going to last week with a few other YouTubers. Nothing as of the days leading up to Black Ops 4 and the launch when things started to go online and servers came up so that everybody that had early copies started leaking things out before embargo or whatever it may be. But now, since we're officially into the launch and life cycle of Black Ops 4, it still is very curious to me that we have not seen anything about supply drops. COD points are of course in the game, not implemented just yet it seems, but they were available via pre-orders and different variations of the game, such as collector's editions or the pro or the digital deluxe editions and so on and so forth. So there seems like there's going to be at least some sort of marketplace within Black Ops 4 as we've seen with every year in the past half decade or so within Call of Duty. But to what extent, that's the real question. Because again, still now, a day and a half into Black Ops 4, two days whenever you watch this, there's no supply drops. Which is really rather interesting because Advanced Warfare started with supply drops, Black Ops 3 started with supply drops, Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered started with supply drops, World War 2 started with them, but Black Ops 4, they are nowhere to be seen. And there might be a reason for that because we jumped in today with still no real information on it, but now a since deleted blog post from Activision may actually have provided some insight as to why we haven't seen supply drops just yet in Black Ops 4, and maybe it points to supply drops not being in the game. So today we're gonna be breaking down this report and what we have information out of it. It might be adjusted, it might've been taken down because some information was wrong, but it also may have just gone live before it was supposed to. Regardless, we're going to be explaining here everything that's detailed and the supply stream system that we'll be seeing within Black Ops 4, or so all signs so far point to. So jumping into it, the article that broke this entire news entitled Black Ops 4 to get a new supply stream system to unlock gear as you progress through tiers details this blog post in which we are now supposedly going to have different tier systems that will allow players to unlock the newest uniforms, weapon variants, and emotes in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. In addition, the blog post also stated that those players who own the Black Ops Pass will be able to air quote, skip 10 tiers with every new season that comes into the game. The exact quote for this ends up saying, the brand new supply stream system now grants you new gear as you progress through tiers. While other players are required to reach each tier organically, Black Ops Pass members can skip 10 tiers per season. What's that mean? Well, in short, you'll get the chance to own the newest uniforms, weapon variants, and emotes before everybody else. Now, this is honestly a bombshell. This is a massive piece of information and honestly something that could be huge for Call of Duty moving forward and could be an entire paradigm shift in how the business model of Call of Duty has operated over the past few years. We've seen a metric ton of revenue generated from supply drops over the past years, but it's definitely been a largely criticized system. I of course have stated that I am not a fan of supply drops in any way, shape or form, and that the idea of paying for a chance to get something is not how I would like to see in-game transactions done. But it was something that we were stuck with no less, but maybe now not so much, because this now points to a passive source that probably in the direct market comparison right now can be compared to the battle pass from Fortnite in which you rank up and get things for free just by simply playing. Now, while this again is a deleted blog post and this is in no way, shape or form confirmed, that's the way that I am interpreting the information that's at hand right now. So while we can't for certain say bye bye to supply drops, I'm knocking on wood because it seems like this is another system that would work in place of that, but just how would it work? So the Activision blog post mentioned that there would be seasons of the supply stream system, which again may play in directly with the sort of limited time events and all things we've heard talk about for absolute ages now in Black Ops' world. One season may be equivalent to say a six week period, like how we saw some events go for five, six weeks in World War II. That's my mentality of it right now. And I'm expecting many seasons throughout the Black Ops lifespan that the supply stream system may be updated. And so therefore we might have eight, nine, 10, 11, 11, 12 seasons in just the single year of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, of course, we don't have this information per se exactly confirmed, but it's what I would imagine to go along here with this. But talking about that, the ranks then will be something you unlock, say, skins and variants like mentioned through just ranking up through the supply stream system. Now, the way that I, again, directly compare this and what actually might make this better than the current competitor out there of Fortnite is that it seems like the entire thing is free. 
But the Black Ops Pass, of course, requires you to pay a $40 total or something like that for the overall thing, but each season you get a 10 tier head start. So whereas people in Fortnite, per se, could buy outright the Battle Pass and get everything day one, it doesn't seem like that just from this initial information that we're given. It seems like everybody will have the start to grind out, but Black Ops Pass users start at theoretically tier 10, but players that don't have the Black Ops Pass will start at tier one. Now, breaking a little further down into this, this is where we can start to maybe see if this is a top-down thing or if it's just one mode specific, because again, the competitor out there in the market is Fortnite, so the initial thought that I've seen a lot of people mentioning over on Twitter is that this is going to be blackout specific. This is only going to apply to that. But I actually don't think that's the case. I think this could be applied to absolutely every aspect of the game. Three core modes, Zombies, Blackout, and Multiplayer, it can be applied to all three of those and ranking up can be based on just accrued playtime. Now, if you really want to get technical and really want to get cool with it, you could end up doing three supply stream systems for the game each season. So one for Blackout, one for Zombies, one for Multiplayer. Because if it's something that players are going to have to end up doing Zombies challenges with Blackout challenges with Multiplayer, player challenges, it might not work out all that much. So if players have the opportunity to either work really hard at one collective one or three individuals, it could work out very well. But things like accrued playtime, community challenges, or overall challenges specific to that supply stream system, and XP and so on could also, of course, just rank you up organically as well. I personally don't think this has to be applied just to the blackout system, but I think it'd be very cool to see across the board. But the biggest variable here out of this entire system that has been detailed so far is what about COD points? Because we mentioned at the very beginning of this video, COD points are a thing within Black Ops 4. They're available within different variations of the game, such as the Digital Deluxe Edition, the Digital Deluxe Enhanced Edition, and so on and so forth, to which players are already guaranteed to have COD points on their account. Now, granted, while they're not necessarily there, they're usually introduced a couple of weeks after launch of the game, probably about two weeks or so. They're publicly launched back into the game, and therefore they'll show up on your HUD and menu UI and all things. But what about those COD points? Why why would they be there if supply drops are not going to be a thing? Well, I think maybe again, comes back to that paradigm shift. The supply stream system will be free and give you guys content as you just simply play, complete challenges and do all kinds of things to unlock customization items like variants, camos, uniforms, you name it. But I also think there will be a way that can actually even on a business end, probably make Activision even more money, as crazy as that sounds. That being an in-game marketplace, to which I think that we could see very, once again, similar to Fortnite, limited time items cycle in and out of that item shop within Black Ops 4. Now, if this hunch is correct, I would anticipate this to be available via COD points and you can buy these items outright. It's not something that you'd pay for a supply drop like you would in previous times, and you'd pay for a very minimal chance of getting that item. You'd probably have the opportunity, if this item shop exists, the opportunity to buy that item that you see right there and be guaranteed to get it, whether it's a camo, a skin, a weapon itself, who knows, and this is all still in theory, but you'd buy it outright for probably a slight upcharge, but you'd at least be guaranteed that item that you're looking at and that you want to buy. Not a chance like supply drops have previously afforded, to which I'm completely okay with this. I'm completely okay with in-game items that don't need to be bought, by the way. They're additional optional items you can end up buying, especially if they're customization. And it sort of returns back to the system that we saw back in Black Ops 2, back in Ghosts, where we had DLC weapons available like that, but also adding in more things that wouldn't be branded pay to win, such as camos, uniforms, and all things. And that's another thing that is kind of crazy to think about, that these may be coming because things like challenges for operators, they're non-existent. Uniforms, we've seen absolutely nothing just yet. There were, of course, a few pre-order items, and same with the Mastercraft and Signature weapons. We haven't seen anything on those just yet, so very possible that we end up seeing these. You might be able to buy the challenges for the Signature and Mastercraft weapons, but I'd imagine that those COD points that are still on reserve are used for an in-game marketplace. So that's kind of where we're at here with this. Of course, the Activision blog post was taken down as for when it will go up and if it's edited in any way, shape, or form, that's for time to tell. Now, I'd imagine this is something that is announced within the next couple of days because we are going to be starting to approach that time when these COD points are actually introduced in-game and when we end up seeing whatever they're used for being officially debuted. So that is something that we'll see more information and more confirmation on in the coming days, but 
right now this is where my head's at and of course hopefully this helped explain it to you guys if you heard whispers of it and were wondering what it was but that said that's where we're gonna wrap it up so hopefully guys enjoyed the video if it helped in any way shape or form of course make sure you drop a like down below let me know your thoughts in the comments as well are you guys a fan of this idea of free loot and free progressional loot in the sense of a comparison to the battle pass from Fortnite, but in black ops 4 are you guys a fan that maybe supply drops won't be coming back and we might be instead replacing it with a marketplace what are your thoughts are let me know in the comments down below but again if you guys enjoyed make sure you drop a like down below if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things call of duty black ops 4 black ops 4 multiplayer blackout zombies we got you covered here up on the channel and of course we have so much in terms of content coming i'm super stoked i have so many things running through my head that i can't wait to put out for you guys so if you guys are interested in any of that hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing if you guys also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with me outside of youtube practically live on both of those and if you guys want to follow over on twitch as well they're going to be doing a little bit more streaming over there in the coming days to weeks so if you want to check that out those links are all in the description below but all that said and out of the way thank you guys all so much for watching my design espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace